Okay, so I'm back. My phone dropped, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna finish this up really quickly. Okay. All right, we're almost done. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that bag. Okay, and for me, I, I like to replace my toilet brushes every so often. So I have one in my bathroom already, but it's time for that one to be replaced. So I already have the one that, that has two things on it. It has the plunger and, and the toilet brush connected to it. But I couldn't find a single, what is it called? I couldn't find just the single one in Dollar Tree. So I just ended up buying the whole container thing. And I guess I'll still keep it, whatever. But I needed to replace my toilet brush, so I bought one of those. Okay, um, put that back. Oh, 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 oh yep. I caught you. I did. <laughs> okay, so this, I used, um, I bought four of these. Because this one, with the circular uh, stuff, I'm going to use to scrub my pots that are really greasy. And this one I use, I have I have two, one for my kitchen sink and one for my bathroom sink, but I needed to replenish it. So I bought two of these again. Um this one is gonna be for my tub because I have the Scotch Bright one that's really tall. It's a really tall uh wand and it has like the scouring pad at the bottom of it and you clean the whole wall, you clean the whole but I said look that runs you about fifteen dollars even at Walmart, ten, maybe 10 to $15 at Walmart. So I said, I'm gonna just throw it out. I'm gonna get this for a dollar. I'm gonna scrub my walls of the shower. Hey, 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 no. I'm gonna scrub my walls of the shower and the bottom of the shower with this. Yay! It's very sturdy, so it's gonna last and it's gonna, it's gonna work as a handheld utensil to help me to clean my shower. Cause I don't like cleaning the bottom of my shower with a sponge or a rag because it's extra work. I like to clean it with that tall wand but like I said, I have to replenish that and throw it out. And I'm not trying to spend $15 for that right now. Um, so we got this for $1.25 and that's what we're going to replace it. I'm throwing that one out because it has rust on it too. Because I guess I wet it so much that it's just, it's all rusted. So this is what I'm using to clean my shower. It's a different one. Um, and then I bought, oh, I bought, okay, so this is what I did. I bought oh this one is shorter okay so that's great because now i can make a distinction and not get the brushes confused but i purposely did that with the other one but i didn't realize i didn't realize that these were two different sizes i thought i had to buy two of these of the same size because um yeah i didn't realize i thought i was gonna have to buy the same brushes for the tub and the um my other sink but it ended up working out because now I can make a better distinction with the fact that this one is smaller than this one. So this long one is gonna be for my tub. This short one is gonna be for the bathroom sink or maybe the kitchen sink. And then this one is gonna be for the bathroom sink so that this way we can really not get confused. You know, cause I don't wanna cross contaminate. I don't, I don't like none of that. <laughs> but we know for sure this is gonna be for the pot. So um, then I bought some light days for when you're on your, um, your perium. <laughs> And, and you know you're in the beginning or you're at the end it's 20 in here and um Ooh. oh <laughs> okay all right we're finishing up <laughs> and like I said I, I just wanted to do this I was so excited because I'm like when I was in Dollar Tree Cause I haven't went there in a long time. So when I went there again, I'm like, wow, it seems like they have even more than I thought they had. Like they have everything there. Like they have everything there. And I'm, I was so excited. Okay. So I bought these gloves. I usually like to keep these in my house. I usually get the ones from Walmart, but they had these there. So I, um, I, I picked them up really quick. Um, they're like the medium ones that come up to maybe right here. And um, I also bought some awesome detergent and this is the one with the stain lifters. I like to, cause she gets, you know, stains on her clothes and stuff from food. So I like to pre-treat her uh, clothes, some of her clothes with, um, with a 
a stain remover. Sometimes I use the bar soap one because they have a bar soap stain, stain remover that really works on every stain that I've ever used on her clothes or my clothes. And it comes out instantly. Eat. So, um, but I ran out of that and I and I can only get that from either Walmart or Target, I believe. So, I just got the liquid stain fighter um, detergent from there. And I also use baking soda for her clothes, for my baby's clothes. Because it's light, it's inexpensive, and I know it's not going to irritate her. Um, okay, so I needed a new face scrub. And I wasn't so, I usually like maybe like a St. Ives or something natural, like I, I think I get burnt, um, burnt bees sometimes, but I said, you know, I've heard of Dermacil and Dermacil is a decent brand. So I said, let me try this as my new apricot scrub. Cause I usually get the St. Ives either apricot or, um, a different kind of, uh, flavor scrub. But I said, I'm going to use this because it's only a dollar 25. And I said, I'm here and I'm not going to another store right now. And so I said, let me, I don't usually like using face products from no dollar store but i do know that dermasil is a good brand so i said let me try it out it might just be something good and it has vitamin e in it which is going to help with marks and things like that so let's see because a lot of the ingredients that this has in it when i look at the back of the apricot scrub scrub it, i remember it saying these same some of these same ingredients so it has to be good. I'ma try it out and I'll and I'll let y'all know. Cause every so often I like to scrub my face and I like to do a face mask. Um all right. So that's that. And I keep my bags too. I like to keep my bags because I use my bags as food garbage. And I usually try to take it out every day instead of using a big 30 gallon bag for for food. And I don't mix I don't mix I usually use a separate garbage for my food garbage and I use a separate garbage for everything else like papers or tissue or you know what I mean and she has a diaper bin which I use for her diapers so I never throw no poopy diapers in my big garbage I usually just start throw like miscellaneous papers or tissue you know maybe if I blow my nose with a tissue I'll throw it in that garbage but she has a diaper pail that I use for her wipes her diapers that she that gets soiled or I'll use use it for my because I use I use I use flushable wipes so sometimes I throw them in the toilet or if they're not flushable I'll throw them in her diaper bin but I always keep certain garbage separate there's a kitchen garbage with for food that I try to take out every day because it keeps your house smelling good and it keep meaning it keeps odor from your house because when you have food garbage sitting there for days it, it's not gonna you know it's not gonna be good Okay, let's move on. So I've been needing, I usually keep a hanger in my shower with, bo with both my towel and washcloth. Like she has a hanger for her towel and washcloth and I have a hanger for my towel and washcloth. But recently I was noticing that the hanger is kind of getting old and I don't have another hanger like that that has the two clips. I have hangers, but actually I do have a shower. Well, anyways, so what I did was I said, okay, I'm gonna buy, and they have other ones too. They have other styles. They have black ones that are steel. And they have these ones, so I said I'm gonna hang this. I used to always have these in my apartments. Like I used to always have this for my towels, but recently I just totally forgot about it, and I just been hanging my towels and washcloth on hanger on the shower. Um, so this is gonna go on my bathroom door, and we're gonna hang our towels on it, and possibly our washcloths. And they have many other versions of this. They have one that's like a little shorter, where it's cut off right here, and it's black. And they have like a few sturdier ones that you can hang your coats on. So this is perfect if you have a house and you have a lot of children. Or even if it's just, you know, maybe you. It's still good to have things like this because you can hang it on your, your, your front door. And you can put your coats on. You can put your purses on here. These things are good to have. <laughs> ah. Alright, you can play with that. Okay. okay. Okay, and I recently, it's funny because I could have been had this. I could have been bought one of these. But sometimes, like, for me, yeah. I'm good with what I already use. Like, what I, when, I, when I have her in the sink or I'm washing her in her little tub thing, 
I usually just use a measuring cup or a bowl to rinse her hair from when I'm washing it. But I saw this at Dollar Tree, and I'm like, why not do it? You know what I mean? Like, all, all this time, I've been just using either a measuring cup to rinse her hair out or just a regular uh, drinking cup. And I'm like, it'll be nice to have one of these. Um, but like I said, for me, when, I, when I'm using a certain thing, I'm like, well, I don't need to buy that because I already have something that I'm already using. But I say, you know what? I'm going to switch it up, and I'm going to I'm gonna buy this for her. And... It's going to be easier, too, because it can fill up higher. So, um, I'm so thankful I got this because this was something that I should have been had. But I just never really thought about getting it because, like I said, I've been using cups for her head to rinse her hair out or measuring cups. And it's not been a big deal for me. But I saw it, so I picked it up. And then, I recently had cabinet um, closers. But I threw them out because I was getting rid of stuff. And I'm like, the, the one that I had, somebody gave to me. And it was something that you were going to have to use certain tools with to put it on the cabinet. So I just threw it out. And I'm like, I don't even need it. And what I did was I tied strings to the cabinets. And, and I also used hangers to close the cabinets. But when I saw this at Dollar Tree, I said, look, we can take those strings off. The string's been working. It's been fine. But I said, let's get let's get something a little better and get some cabinet closers. So we got two of those, one for the bathroom, one for the kitchen, because she can't reach the other cabinets up top. And then this was the second um, this was the second wipes um, cleaner. Hold on, Mooka, you can play with that cup. I don't care. Okay, go ahead. That's for you. Go ahead. That's yours. And I think that might be it. Yep, that's it. That's it. That's our Dollar Tree. Oh, no, it's not. We got food. I forgot. I got some food from Dollar Tree. All right, so let's go through the food. Thank right. you. Okay, thank you. Good job. We're going to put all of these bags in one bag. Okay. Keep the clutter to a minimum. What, are you dancing? Go ahead, girl. Go ahead, girl. Yay! Yay, good job. Yes, you. You're welcome. Okay. I'm just consolidating these bags real quick. So it'll make the mess a little bit easier. Okay. So, oh, I went to Walmart too, and I got some little wipes and stuff, but that's not really nothing to really show us. Um, but, uh, okay, so I got, I had, I bought two of these, Pure Leaf Raspberry. I usually like to get the hibiscus. The hibiscus is really amazing. It's like a breath of fresh air when you're drinking it. Um, I love the hibiscus one, but the raspberry is pretty good too, so I had two of these. Um... Then I got some lemon juice because I usually like to use lemon juice to clean my. Why is why is that lemon juice got stuff in it? Why it look like it got? I like I told you I don't usually like to use brands that I don't know, so I hope this is good, but um we'll see. But I usually like to use lemon juice or vinegar for my vegetables, my fresh fruits and vegetables, to clean them with water. So I usually keep that in my house. And sometimes I used to use <laughs> lemon and vinegar to use as a natural cleaning product. And I put it in a spray bottle with some water. So you can use lemon and lime for everything. Lemon, lime, concentrate, you can use that for anything. Got some baking soda because I usually use it for, you know, deodorizing your sinks. You can, pour, ooh, you can pour it down your sink with some vinegar and it'll deodorize it. You can use it to clean your carpets. You can use it as laundry detergent. You can use it as a fridge deodorizer. So I always keep baking soda on hand. I usually get the big one from Walmart or Target, but they only had these small ones, so I just bought two. Yep. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay. All right, and then we got some. We, when I said food, we didn't really get no big food. We just got some snacks and stuff, but... Um, 
So I love these, the Harvest Snaps. These are my little natural snacks that I used to, that I usually like to um, snack on. They have it in different flavors. They have tomato basil. So I got four of these. I got a snack pack. Cause I like, I like pudding. I usually like rice pudding, but this was all they had. And so I bought some for her uh, and I bought some for me too as a little snack. Pudding is, is usually a little, a really good snack. I bought some little snack pack goldfish, two of them, so that you know I can put pack it in my bag for her when I go out for a snack. Oh my god! I usually I'm not a I'm not a how can I say I'm not a junk food fanatic, but every so often I love I love a Snicker bar or I love these turtles. Oh, amazing! So I, I think I bought three of those, and this is just another snack uh, harvest snack and that's it for the food oh no 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 i bought the boom chicka pop up now i used to work at an airport a long time ago and we used to get all the snacks from uh because they usually fill the galley with a whole bunch of snacks so we worked at the airport and we we used to get um they used to give us the snacks from off the airplane when people when they would when they would load the um, load it in so we used to have this boom chicka pop but it was um it was called sweet chili tell me why i can never find sweet chili nowhere nowhere i searched so many stores and i never find the sweet chili so i'm kind of starting to think that maybe they just discontinued it and they don't they don't sell it no more but every time i look at every time i see boom chicka pop pop i always see either the white cheddar or the kettle cooked uh, or salt and pepper i never see the sweet chili one and the sweet chili one was the best one why is it that why is it that the things that are best brands choose to discontinue why is that like i don't get that i really don't get that at all i've noticed that with a lot of things like something that is good that's really popular and people really like brands choose to discontinue it and just make regular and I'm just like, why don't y'all keep the sweet chili anymore? That was the best one out of them all. So anyways, that's Angie's Boom Chica, White Cheddar, whatever. And that was it for the food. Uh, yeah, so that's our Dollar Tree haul. One dollar. Okay, a dollar twenty-five. So, you know, but still, you can't beat that. You can't beat all of that stuff for a dollar twenty-five. Because if I would have went anywhere else... I would have been those wipes. I mean, those wipes would have been maybe 175. Um, a lot the detergent would have been more expensive. So I I did pretty good. I think all of that stuff came up to about maybe forty dollars. So I did pretty good. Did pretty pretty good. And I'm happy with what I got because everything that I got is what I was envisioning of getting because I needed to replenish all my cleaning supplies and all my cleaning products so now I could throw all my old brushes away for cleaning and I can use my new ones and I feel good about that because I've had those brushes for way too long now and I've been should have replenished them but I, I guess I put it off and now I'm like look I want to replenish my brushes and I want to replenish my mop I had to replenish my mop because it got rust all over it but um you want some of these so that is our Dollar Tree haul. Um, I hope that you enjoyed watching and I hope that you learned something and I hope that it blessed you in Jesus' mighty name. God bless.